today I will be talking about women and non-binary folks in Fedora. Uh, so this is my story. Um, I would rather decided to stick to the questions, uh, the format which was given for this presentation. Um, because if I'll start on my own, I can go on forever. So I rather decided to stick to the questions which was asked uh, for this presentation. So this is a little bit of my uh, about me. I'm Amita Sharma uh, from India, and I joined Red Hat for 10 years before. And I started contributing in the Fedora um, approximately seven to years, eight years before. Uh, I started my career in Red Hat as a quality engineer, and then now I am working as a technical project manager in Red Hat. I am a seven years uh, old daughter. Uh, I'm, I'm a mother of a seven years old girl. Um, and I love, love, love traveling, which I'm missing nowadays. And this is my Fedora page where you can find some of the sessions which I have given in different, um, uh, in different events and conferences. Uh, so, okay, uh, to start with the first question, how I get involved in the Fedora. Uh, so this is the common thing which I heard from everybody's story that they get inspired from someone. So yes, my story is also similar. Uh, I got inspired by Adam Williamson, uh, who is a very, very famous name in Fedora QA. Um, and I, as I told you, I used to be a tester. Uh, so this is the area which I felt is the easiest way I get in, involved in the community. And uh, I started contributing in the test days, uh, started filing some bugs and uh, interacted with Adam that how I can more involved in Fedora. And I met him first time in Flock um, six or seven years back. And uh, yes, it was very, very inspirational. And um, after some time uh, contributing in testing, after, some, after that, uh, I think after two years or something like that, Matthew Miller posted a post about the diversity team, and he asked a few questions in that post that why there should be a diversity team in Fedora, and would you like to be involved? Um, and that is the point uh, when I answered all those questions. And uh, yes, in when the foundation was created for the diversity and inclusion team in Fedora, I am involved since then. So yes, it has been a long, long time. And that is why the diversity and inclusion team is so close to my heart. Uh, then eventually, I got an opportunity to become the ambassador as well. So this is my story of how I get, got involved in Fedora. How do I contribute? Um, I used to do a lot of things. Unfortunately, I'm not able to keep up, honestly. Uh, in If you ask me today, I'm not able to keep up with many of these things because of the time because of life happens, but I try to do as much as I can. So these are things which I uh, did um, testing. I participated in test days. I filed many bugzilla. So again, for the new contributor, it is the best, best way and the easiest way to start um, your contribution in Fedora if you would like to do that. Uh, blog post, write your experience because you never know what will inspire somebody okay you can be the inspirational for uh, inspiration for many others in future uh, so write your experience that is what i have uh, done i write many blog posts and um, then i started con my contribution in diversity team i helped in organizing fedora women's day in india uh, did other events like release party etc and then i got a chance to become a diversity advisor as well Okay, so um, before jumping to the story of my challenges in Fedora, which I faced, this is my uh, uh, you know disclaimer that these challenges I faced seven years before. And I would like to acknowledge that most of them have been gone uh, now, and now the story is totally, totally different. Uh, when I started, um seven or eight years before there was hardly any woman contributor locally 
uh, in Pune or in India to support, to get that right support. And they were a very close group of male uh, people who has a very, um, you know, particular mindset uh, that if, if you are coding uh, and if you are submitting some patches, that is the only uh, thing which can be considered as contribution. So the, uh, I felt there was no initial uh, support uh, or if you are a newbie, if you are a new person, you are a bit hesitant and you look at look up to your people who look like you, who talk like you, and you expect some kind of support from them. And if you feel if you don't get the right guidance, uh, you feel a bit hesitant and uh, that right uh, initial right support is very, very, very necessary, I feel. But uh, fortunately, I got in touch with Adam and eventually I made friend out of my uh, zone. And then, yes, that helped me a lot when I started talking to some other people uh, and not just to my local group. Uh, but as I told you that this has been changed a lot. If I asked Murray uh, or uh, somebody who can who can tell the numbers, you see the number of participants the female participants in flock uh, 2014 or 2015 they were around 10 approximately but if you count the number of female participant in even if in the virtual flock which just happened they are they have grown exponentially and i can see uh, say that potentially these challenges has gone <laughs> now uh, the other one which I would like to mention was the complex wiki documentation. It was, let's admit that it was not, not very, very helpful. Uh, yeah, it helped me. But um, if you look at those wiki documentation, you go to one page, you need to click to, uh, and there are so many hyperlinks, you click to another and you get lost in the, in the forest of that <laughs> wiki, you uh, sometimes lost. Uh, uh, lost your motivation to find that information which you were trying to find out. But now this this also has been improved a lot. Um, these were the things which I faced before. But um, today, what I am facing is the 2020, as all of you are. Uh, I don't definitely don't need to go into the details for that. And it is the common challenges which we are all are facing nowadays. OK, victories. There are so, so, so many victories. Uh, I could not gather them into one slide. But yes, Fedora has given me a lot, a lot. I don't know how much I have given to Fedora, how much contribution I have given. But, uh, but the amount of uh, you know learning, knowledge, experience, the Fedora community has given me, it helped me grow as a person uh, it helped me grow in my career whatever i am today uh, in my career fedora has a lot of impact and a lot of contribution in that because it it gave me uh, so many skills to develop it helped me grow as a person it helped me learn so many new things because everything or every every new feature around the world which comes i think fedora is the first one to adopt that and we ha we are the fortunate people in the community to learn it and it gives you a platform where you can talk to so many different people around the corner and it it helps you in your communication skills it helps you in your uh, people skill it helps you you know give uh, in your presentation skills i think uh, this is the best place if you start early this is the best place to uh, you know, uh, get the right experience, not in just in the technical, uh, you know, technical area, but in so many other areas. I can keep on talking, but there are some very specific which I would like to highlight is the public speaking. I got many chances to speak in public. I uh, I got many compliments. Uh, I used to get many compliments in um i i would like to take this opportunity to um say uh, mention this that uh, sumantro uh, he 
he told me that he got inspired in one of my session which i had gave given in my first vlog around fedora qa and it was a huge huge compliment to me and yes i uh, improved i grow over the uh, over the past many years and because fedora has given me so much so many opportunity to speak in public public to share my knowledge and uh, just imagine you are speaking in front of a crowd uh, which is from the different corner of the world and they are ask throwing the questions at you and you are able to answer those questions how much brilliant experience it is in itself okay this one is the greatest so friends is one of the four foundation of fedora and this is the closest to my heart my friends act like an anchor uh, in fedora uh, you know life happens and you get trapped in many different things and you don't get chance to do the things which you love to do so i love dancing i don't get time to do it i love fedora uh, but i don't get time to do it but my friends remind me okay i got i received this message from mari um, that um, we are doing this presentation would you like to take or uh, this opportunity or would you like to um, share your story i said why not um, because i'm not in to too much touch of the pegor right now that what is happening i know the fedora women day was happening but i didn't know about uh, these sessions she pinged me and i was uh, i was so thrilled that okay i can uh, definitely i can do it uh, so yes my friends are my anchor who um, you know keep reminding me that this is the it's a bit the thing you can still do and i love to do it um, yes so uh, <laughs> i think uh more than anything i would say uh this is the best part of uh, fedora and um yes uh the title we all love titles uh, so fedora gave me the opportunity to become the ambassador and diversity advisor because the initial journey was very, uh, not very easy uh so yes the victory tasted much more sweeter <laughs> um thanks to fedora it make me capable uh, that i could help more women to come and become the part of the journey uh, so uh, when i organize some local fedora women's day uh, there are many uh, women around uh, whom i helped or i can say i could support the support which i was looking initially for myself and which was missing for me i definitely made sure that i could be that support for the other women around so yes this is what i feel is a victory uh quickly how we can improve in di in fedora these are very rough or the raw, raw ideas i would say um we do a lot of things but uh, currently if you look at the 2020 how it is going i think we should definitely do some sessions or some kind of counseling for the contributors to uh help them in their mental health um because currently it is a very stressful um year uh, i would say if we can do something around it that will be very good uh i also feel that whenever there is a bit of longer gap in my contribution i feel a little difficult to bounce back completely because many things keep changing in fedora and that is the beauty of it that it is the first adopter of the new things which is good but which is little difficult for a old contributor to bounce back so if we can um, give some resources we can develop some material or some uh, you know some documentation or some some recordings for people to be up, up to date or to bounce back that will be very helpful um i know we have this appreciate or appreciation day uh, but this is the time when we can uh, you know give rewards more frequently to the contributors just few good words even matters a lot uh, so this is what this is the thing which i think we should revive uh, especially during this time um constant touch is very very important so if you are active in fedora and you feel that you you see that your friend is missing somehow you can send them messages as i uh, quoted you one example that i keep receiving messages from my friend this is happening would you like to take a part uh, take a part in it there's some easy things so that constant touch also keep uh, you know uh, uh, keep you motivated 
to continue and some kind of counseling and mentoring sometimes you just you know going to a rough patch uh, of life and uh, this is something i feel if we can uh, if we can you know ask or request uh, in fedora that this is the ticket uh, that is the functional part of it maybe uh, we can open a ticket that i need a little bit of counseling or guidance or a little bit of mentoring um, if we can open that ticket and request it from fedora uh, for that will be very very helpful so these are some some of the very raw ideas um, for improvement otherwise we are doing as a community really great job i i was thrilled i was amazed look at the, by looking at the number of the people who contributed in our virtual events and it proves our and it shows our success as a community so thank you very much i'll stop sharing my screen to take any of the questions if anybody have Hi. Hi. That was fun. Sorry, I think I took a longer time, I think. No, you did that was great. You could have taken as long as you wanted. Um I don't see any questions in the chat, but I have questions. Yeah, so, sure. so my first one is um when did you first get involved in tech? Like what what was your like how did you get interested in tech? And how did you end up at Red Hat? Uh, <laughs> this is very funny. But very honestly, I joined Red Hat because my husband <laughs> joined Red Hat. So that is why I switched to Red Hat. But then I uh, saw the local people uh, going to these uh, conferences, contributing and uh, speaking publicly about their contribution. And I was uh, doing the same thing. You know, we have uh, the Fedora is upstream for us, and uh, we are uh, Red Hat uses the packages and the features of whatever Fedora does, right? So I'm doing the same thing, uh, and I just need to test the different packages. So that is the only uh, switch I need to make. Uh, so it was my day job, but I just need to switch the the version of the packages I was testing in Red Hat to Fedora, and I learned it from one of the Adam Williamson uh, blog post. And uh, yes, that was my uh, you know you can say the kickstart of my contribution in Fedora. Very cool. So. <clears throat> So before you worked at Red Hat, were you also doing testing? No, I was a developer in a different organization. Okay, so you were a developer before then. Yes. So yes. did you go to university for technology? Yes, I am a, a computer engineer by my degree. Uh, so yes, wow. my education is in technology. Very cool. Um, same, like when you first got started, that there wasn't a lot of local support. And I was going to ask, like, how has that changed? And, you know, because you were saying it's different now. Um, and I was, but then you kind of addressed that. And you said, you know, I reach out to the new people. I'm the one there trying to um, promote Fedora. Um, but I guess, like, I'm just curious if you have any more, like, feedback on that, like, if you want to talk maybe about some of the events that we're going to do there locally, that I think people would be interested. Sure. Uh, so if you don't find that right um, kind, of, I would say if there is something missing locally, never, never hesitate to broaden your circle. Reach out. Uh, you know, reach out to different people. There are so many helpful. I. Very honestly, there are every kind of people in every community, everywhere, right? There, there are people who are close mindset. There are people who are a little bit hard, and there, then there are people who are very, very supportive. I look at Matthew, like uh, he's the FPL, and he's a very, uh, you know, he's the top leader in Fedora. But you reach out to him, you talk to him, you, you, you feel like you are talking one of your friend. I mean, that kind of uh, people exist in Fedora. You look at Murray how cool she is she is also one now she is uh, you know one of the very important person 
in Fedora and uh, at a very elite position, but still you can reach out to her, you talk to her anytime. So I would say don't hesitate to reach out to the people. If you're not finding that support locally, reach out to the different people and you will definitely get that support and even much more than you are expecting. So that is not my own. That is so true, that is so true. And I definitely have people um, reaching out to me on a variety of topics and I love hearing from them and it's usually about some idea that they have. Um, I find it very, very interesting moving from um, the, the community to this role. Um, you know, you, you have ideas as a community member and you kind of look for some, um, what's the word, approvals, right? <laughs> And you're like, oh, these people need to approve this thing we're doing. I'm just, I'm the same person I was before you guys. <laughs> I'm, I'm, but I'm willing to, to, to not only say that's a good idea and help you improve it or just give you resources to make it happen. Mm -hmm. um, so that's, that's what's changed. Um, let me see. Uh, there's a question here from the chat. From your experience in Fedora, what is your top tip or advice for a new contributor entering the project today? I would say for me, test day was the easiest thing. Uh, so there is ample amount of uh, information for the test days. They, they, there is a calendar which test, next test day is happening. So there is a new feature in Fedora. You already, uh, if you have already installed Fedora, there are a step by step, very clear instructions how you should be testing that particular feature. There are very clear instructions how you can open a bug in the Bugzilla if nothing is working as expected. So this is the easiest thing I would say. But if that is not uh, where you are interested in, uh, I would say uh, find that right mentor or find that right person in, in the group which uh, in which you are interested in. If you are in design team, look at the Pegor, who is who are the people contributing over there, reach out to them. They, uh, everybody is so helpful and so, so open to uh, you know guide you and will be happy to guide you. So that is the thing you can do it. You can do. <laughs> awesome. I, I think that's great advice. Um, <laughs> Like for me, I, I was lucky enough to get involved through an internship, but it really doesn't take a, a ton of time to get involved in Fedora. You can just do little things and just slowly kind of get to learn the, the landscape, as you will, um, over time. So I don't see any other questions in the chat, but we have been um, doing a script which you probably saw um, sure. based off of the, the, the Budapest video we made. So yeah. I'm going to put the script in the chat. Mm -hmm. So the first part, just like the Budapest video, will be in your native tongue. And the second part will be in English. Mm -hmm. um, so the one part that we added to this is I am a woman, for example, um, mm -hmm. and, and the one that we had at Budapest didn't include that part, but this time we are uh, women, or I am a woman, or I am a non-binary person, you know, so mm -hmm. that's the addition, and I'm just curious, what language will you be speaking? Uh, Hindi? Hindi? Is that what you are uh, referring to have, or do you want me to do something else? Oh, I mean, I think you should do... <laughs> this year says, how about Punjabi? So we actually did have um, Smira yesterday speak in Hindi um, mm -hmm. for this. So if you are able to do a different language and you're mm -hmm. up for it, you're welcome to. But Hindi is also great. Whatever, you, whatever you're feeling comfortable with. But I'm going to mute myself just to give you all of the sound space. And go ahead when you're ready. You could do extra takes, whatever you want. Okay, uh, I'll do it in Punjabi, but I am looking for a word for women in Punjabi. Um, okay, I'll do it in Punjabi. So, should I start? Uh, 
Hi. Uh, sorry. It was starting. Sasri Akal. I am Amita. I am from India. I am a Kuri. And I am Punjabi. We are from different countries. We speak different languages. We are of different cultures. But Fedora unites us with open source. We are Fedora.